Success and failure get defined in terms of kids' improvement on test scores. Nothing else being a focus of, of that. And the administrators who take that view basically wind up leading by intimidation, not by enthusiasm. They say, if you don't get your test scores up to a principal, your kids, are, your, your kids aren't doing well enough, we're going to toss you from your job. And the same thing is true of teachers who feel the pressure. And what you get is very little by way of results. Uh, there's no evidence that this works, but what there is evidence of is that it lets people, invites people to cheat because if you're asked to do something impossible, you know, you're asked to get test scores up to a level that you have no idea how to do, and you're told that your livelihood depends on it, you're going to cheat. And that's what's going on, for example, in Atlanta, you know, with a series of amazing indictments this, this March, uh, in, up to and including the superintendent, but not just in Atlanta. In every district I know of, where there's been this kind of pressure, you have some evidence of cheating going on. And the people who are really getting cheated are the kids.